change is the only constant thing in life, at least so we say. And many of us desire change because we, have, we never get satisfied with our status quo. And these changes, usually when they come, they move us from our place of comfort to our place of discomfort. So sometimes, even though change is desirable, it can be hard, it can be slow, it can be very difficult and have a huge bearing and consequence upon those that are supposed to benefit um, from these changes. Most of the times when change comes, because we do not want the change, we resist the change from the depths of our hearts. And when the person initiating this change refuses to yield to our resistance, what we do is we abandon such person and make the person feel lonely. Loneliness is one of the burdens that great leaders constantly face on a daily basis because every good leader never wants to see a status quo remain the way that it is. Every great and good leader always initiates change. Now, when he or she does that, I tell you, the people feel the pain of the change. And what do they do? They resist. If he doesn't yield, what next do they do? They abandon such a leader and he becomes lonely. To the point that the leader begins to think, am I actually doing what is right? Is this change the correct nature or attitude I should adopt? Eventually, good leaders overcome that loneliness. But then, let it be known that loneliness also constitutes one of the bodies of great and good leaders. I know that many of us do not like to be lonely, but I tell you, if you must walk down the path of leadership and must leave a great legacy, you must initiate change and also await loneliness.